Welcome to another episode of Sanda Life. My name is Tajisura Gwaza and today with me is Memory Kumbota. We're going to be discussing about uh, the Zoom film industry, basically the challenges in the Zoom film industry. Memory, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. And thank you for being here. So tell us about your journey in the film industry as a filmmaker and everything. Well, uh, my journey is not just particularly in the film industry. I started uh, in the arts industry, performing arts, uh, in 1986 with a two-year training course. So 1988, I started uh, performing full-time in theater. So I have a lot of experience in theater, radio, and film. So I'm just like, uh, do a lot of things. Okay, so... Basically, the problem that we have is here yeah, is that most Zimbabweans are not familiar with the Zimbabwean content, basically Zimbabwean films and movies. Why are most Zimbabweans unfamiliar with the Zimbabwean content and familiar with um, foreign content? Well, that's a, a complex question. It doesn't have a, a simple answer. There are many aspects to it. And one of the most basic aspects, I think, is that uh, in, in, in terms of uh, vehicles to carry our film, uh, Zimbabwe was a little bit left behind. Remember, for a long time we only had uh, one TV channel. And um, so in terms of distribution out there, uh, people were not seeing a lot of our films. Okay, so we're saying the problem is distribution. But one might ask, okay, now we have the social media, we have YouTube and etc. So we can exactly blame it on the one channel that we have. I mean, technology yes. is made. Yes, I, I do agree with you. That's so why I say it's barrier. complex and the issues are plenty. I was going to come there. Oh. It is uh, a problem is the story. We need good stories. We, we need stories that our audiences can, can, can relate to. We, we cannot blame people and say they do not like what we do sometimes maybe we do not give them the story the because right as you say, the story is everything. Look, we had films like Neria and many others and they became very popular because the story really hit the people. Oh. Yeah, like I always say, people compare us with Nigeria and sometimes we would say some of our work is technically better than some of the Nigerian works that we used to see a long time back. But they developed, but their storylines even there were actually strong storylines. Oh, so this is now a competition of the nature of demand of the content being there. Yes, okay. also, that, that's another factor. Mm. Okay, so now that we have discussed this, my next question will be, what then should be the solution to the barriers that we have, or the disconnects that we seem to have between the viewers and the filmmakers or the films themselves? Yeah, I, I think uh, we really need to look at uh, telling the stories that people want to hear. Showing people images that they want to see. Telling our own story, our Zimbabwean story. Sometimes uh, we worry a lot about uh, catching up with other um, markets we, without really thinking about telling this Zimbabwean story. In the simplest sense. And in the simplest form. In the simplest form. Oh. With what we have. So I think uh, the Zimbabwean story is critical. People would like, will relate to what they know, will relate to what uh, resonates with their lives. Okay, so there you have it, people. That is Memory Kamota, and he has given us his perception actually on the Zoom film industry. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next podcast.